Jason and Freddy don't go after the uglies. Are you out here? Tyler. Hello everybody, it's Aaron from Screen Stars and I'm back once again to do another review for Geek Legion of Doom and today I'm bringing you the review for the 2018 festive horror film Mrs. Claus a film that is written and directed by Troy Escamilla and stars Helen Uddy or, Helen, or Helena Uddy uh, Brick Stevens and Kaylee Williams and this is, like I said, a festive slasher horror film um, and essentially it's a very it's very very low budget film this and it focuses on well the film opens at the beginning with um we see a hazing going on at a sorority um one of these sisters is being hazed and being treated terribly um bullied victimized all that kind of stuff and it, it pushes her a bit too far there's a murder suicide takes place and the film then skips to ten years later. The girl who was being hazed, her little sister, joins the same sorority. However, there has been some changes in these ten years. It's no longer the brutal, you know, bullying, victimising place that it was ten years previously. Um, and they plan at the sorority a Christmas party for all their friends. However, they are stalked and murdered and killed by some unknown killer in a Mrs. Claus mask and get up and killed in more brutal and inventive ways as the film goes on. There you go. That's the story of this film. Nothing particularly original there. Now, what I will say about this film is it offers new to the genre. If you're, if you're not a fan of slasher films, you're not going to get anything out of this film because it doesn't offer, I think, anything new to the genre. Um, if you're a fan of low-budget um, slasher films, cheaply made, uh, there's, there's stuff here for you to enjoy, particularly the brutal kills that take place in this film that I thought were really pretty effective. Um, and it... it the start of this film is actually quite mean-spirited um, and it does get the message across in regards to the hazing it's it's actually quite difficult to watch now the trouble with this film is quite a lot of things to be fair the dialogue isn't any good and the kind of dialogue you've got to look forward to with this film is things like ho ho ho's in reference to the girls at the party that some boy makes that's that's the level of dialogue we're talking about here for the majority of this film it's not expertly written I'll give it that um, and the acting unfortunately um, is pretty bad throughout by everybody whether it be the older actors or the younger actors the teenagers um, it's it kinda takes you out of the movie you've got a younger sister that's you know trying to move on and deal with her sister's passing ten years previously you don't get that emotional kick um, the relationships between the kids it's like they just met there's no chemistry even when some of them are playing boyfriends and girlfriends that type of thing nothing there it's like they've literally just met the minute before the scene um, it's full of horror tropes um, <laughs> very very low budget stuff pound shop Christmas decorations all over the house now if you're from the UK you know what I mean by pound shop decorations if you're from anywhere else what I'm saying very very cheap decorations that have been just slapped up on doors and walls um, very haphazard um, and the reveal at the end is terrible and you can see it coming a mile away uh, yeah what kind of a double reveal so he tries to give you a little bit of a twist at the end um, so the best thing this film has got going for it is the kill scenes which I think are suitably brutal for a, for a film as low budget as this I think it does a pretty decent job with them and they are reasonably shocking if you like that sort of thing there's stuff here for you to enjoy but 
don't go into this film thinking you're going to be watching high quality stuff here because um, it doesn't really give you that however I will say I did have a bit of fun watching this film just as a throwaway slash a low budget horror film um, it's made reasonably competently in some areas um, I just wish the quality of acting had been that little bit better and I might have bought some of these relationships and bought some of these interactions a little bit more and that's what this film needed I think for you to buy in to um, the endless kills that happened basically what we end up with is a lot of creative deaths and kills of characters that you don't care about which is never really a good thing for a slasher film um, so unfortunately guys I'm going to rate this one I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 um, it doesn't really deserve any more than that I'm giving it that because there is a bit of fun to be had watching this film but um, it's not high quality stuff a very very low budget and they could have improved in a lot of areas I think so there you go guys that's my review for the festive horror slasher film Mrs Claus if you fancy this film check it out it'll be opening soon uh, available for you to watch and once again guys thank you very much for watching